Merry Christmas. Thank you for the peace of the Lord be with you. Thank you. And uh, we welcome each and every one of you to our worship this, uh, this evening. And uh, it's Christmas Eve. And we pray that our lives will be richly blessed on the praise of our Lord and Savior and strengthen us with the light that lies again. Again, we welcome you and we pray God's blessings and have a blessed Christmas in our Lord.
and need the assurance of his forgiveness. Let us go to God seeking his power to amend our sinful lives. Lord Jesus, the love of God made manifest among us.
But you, O Bethlehem, Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, 
God abides in him and he in God. So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. Father was Jesse. 
And we heard the prophet Micah that the Savior would be born in Bethlehem. Now we heard from the New Testament of the fulfillment of those ancient prophecies and promises that the Savior, the very Son of God, the actual Word of God, who is eternal with God, who himself is God, was born into the world in Bethlehem in the days of Caesar Augustus. To a virgin named Mary, so that he would give his life in exchange for our life. As payment for our sin, the sin that disqualifies us for both here and in eternity, from the blessed life, the Creator, when He made us, intended for us. We were intended to live forever. And then we heard two profound commentaries on the birth of, uh, of Christ. One from St. John and the other one from St. Paul who proclaimed to us that God sent his Son into the world to be a payment for our sins. So that we might live through him and that Christ appeared to bring salvation to all people. Such is the biblical narrative. Christmas, as we have heard it again and again and again tonight, it's really very simple. But you know what? God did not stop giving his gift of a Savior, for he is born for you. Christmas is about God's gift to you. The concrete flesh and blood, real life gift his own son, born into this world, as Jesus of Nazareth, so that he could walk in our shoes, and live in our skin, and experience what we experience, and because he is God, could then redeem fallen humanity, to redeem us, to live that perfect life. death and everlasting condemnation. So Christmas is about God's gift. God's gift of hope beyond this life. Hope for you. Hope for a never ending perfectly blissful existence with him in heaven. Just as he intended, intended it from the beginning of creation. Stop. 
giving his gifts spirit. And his giving to you doesn't end with tonight either. Rather, everything we've heard this evening and so much more there is. And together with all the life-changing reality and grace is available to you constantly in the fellowship of the Holy Christian Church. That love, forgiveness, grace, mercy, <coughs> peace, hope, acceptance, the redemption, and salvation. It's all of God's gift to you. All of it. For the sake of Jesus Christ. And every time you hear and receive God's word and faith and join in the communion of saints. So this is why joy to the world crowns Sinai night. Not only because the Savior was born, but because the Savior is born. Born into your heart. Over into your heart again tonight by the gospel, with our faith strengthened and listening to it. Over into your heart for your salvation and the gifts that your Savior brings. He will keep more offering to you in the communion of His church in this very place, in this very place until He comes again. A Savior was born, and the Savior is born. This is how God loves you from start to finish. Praise be to God. Amen. You have a special, special musical offering from Morgan Trawick. Mary.
in our responses, we refrain from our care of angels safely and such. Hear the prayers to you we pray, Father, Spirit, and Lord King. Three responses. God entered human history in the person of Jesus, who experienced all our joys and sorrows. He has promised that our Heavenly Father will hear whatever we ask in His name. So let us bring our request to Him in confident faith. Wonderful Counselor, we pray that He will give empathy, wisdom, and compassion to all who are all who seek to meet the needs of the people around, around them, providing food, clothing, and shelter, tending to the sick and the injured, and responding to the human crises and natural disasters. Remember, we pray, those special needs and those known only to you, as you give us opportunity and grant that we may be part of your answer to their, their petition. Mighty God, whose word created all things in heaven and on earth, when storms rage, fires spread, when the earth trembles, give courage and skill to those who would provide rescue, relief, and shelter. Bless those who till the soil, and raise crops, and all who manage and distribute the world's bounty. The hungry be fed, and the poor clothed, and the displaced given shelter. Gracious God, receive our plea. Use the earthly powers that be to put into positions of authority 
those who will work for justice within their nation and cooperation across their borders, give protection and courage to police and first responders in their communities and to armed forces deployed where war is threatened, move leaders to seek calm where long-term animosity gives rise to fear and hatred, open avenues of communication and understanding. Dear God, grant that your church stand you know, as a beacon in this troubled world to proclaim the gospel and exhibit loving forgiveness in your name. Grant that many find the peace that they seek in you, our gracious Savior. Oh, gracious God, receive our plea.
Yeah. 
Let us not go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the big line of the people. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the same which was told them concerning this child. This is the gospel of the Lord. Oh. 